According to junior Jake Hager, though the city of Albany is not in a position to receive many volunteers in the wake of deadly tornadoes in South Georgia, the call for outside help could come soon. We might try and do some type of um, fundraising as far as, you know, for goods and things like that to take down to Albany and maybe try in the next couple of weeks whenever they can receive volunteers, go to have a Barry crew go down and help to uh, clean up some of that uh, storm damage down there. It would definitely be something that we could do as a Barry community. In late January, tornadoes ripped across the southern part of the state. The city of Albany confirmed eight dead from the storms, but that number could change according to Hager, an environmental science major from Leesburg, Georgia. Today they're still out um, looking for people searching, uh, so there's, they're still in recovery mode. They haven't really been able to start, um, or they're still in response mode, excuse me, they haven't been able to recover any uh, as far as starting to clean up because they're still finding people. So it's been really a mess. Hager says that Albany is also still recovering from a storm that hit the city less than a month earlier, leaving those without homeowners or renters insurance in an especially vulnerable situation. But. Um, it's also been a mess because three weeks ago they also had a tornado go through there in the avenues of Albany with the big tree-lined streets, which Albany's noted for, uh, but they um, have been cleaning up there, but they were without power for three, three weeks there. So they just recovered from that and then uh, this big storm came through. Perhaps the worst of the damage occurred in a trailer park, according to Hager. He says his father, the captain at the Dowdy County Police Department, has been working around the clock leading patrol officers in the search for undocumented people caught in the storm. To put it into perspective, they had about 200, over 200 lots at the uh, trailers, at the trailer park there at the Paradise Village, and uh, as of now there's only about 10 left remaining somewhat structure of trailers out there. So. Um, you know, that's a lot of trailers that were destroyed and, and just collapsed on top of people. With Viking Fusion, I'm Sarah O'Carroll.